What's up, two? <clears throat> two times. So dope popping in, man. Hey, hope you enjoying your day. Could have bring you some more news. That should have been news, but you know, <laughs> we don't get the real news. It's all fake news. Anyway, uh, this story coming all the way out of uh, out of Texas, uh, uh, Mooseboro, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's uh. Woodsboro, Woodsboro, Texas. We got three teenagers dressed in KKK outfits during Halloween. Go around. Uh, I guess that's their costume for the for the celebration or whatnot. But anyway, they go around in the KKK KKK costumes, hoodie and all, and they attack um, children, two black children at that, with the taser. Let's read the details. Manny, an uh, attorney in the district, wrote on Facebook that he was infiltrated because he learned from multiple sources that another, even younger victim was terrorized by these deprived menaces that same night. Furthermore, the three young men who per perpetrated these crimes were apparently still allowed to play in Friday night's football game. Now you see, and, and, and people still fail to believe that they got white privilege. These three young men had to be high schoolers, dressed up in their KKK outfits, who they probably borrowed from their fathers, and their fathers, which are probably judges, police officers, councilmen, you know how it go. But anyway, they go out and decide to go out on Halloween and attack two innocent black children, which apparently had, had to be weaker than them, because they only pray on the week. And the school district, the city and the town knew about this news, and knew the individuals, but they was unable to share their uh, name and stuff because they're underage. But they were still allowed to play in a high school football game. How amazing, how amazing that is. Now, if the, uh, I don't want to say skin tone, but let's say, let's switch roles. These was black kids going out doing quote unquote thug things and, and, and beating up little white kids and tasing them. But the, the law enforcement will be right at their front door. Um uh, to to the to the parents of those two younger black kids, I need you to um uh, teach your kids, man. Teach your kids uh self defense and teach your kids when to have their when to have uh what what's the word for it? Senses. They should they should have known by looking at those white hoodie capes from a distance oh that's that's a no-no that's danger you know because uh i got those i was born with those i was raised with those i got them senses and i, I i'm not just gonna walk into no type of danger so i need uh it's very important that you teach your kids man about things to look look at and look for when they are here by their by themselves man and, and know how to protect themselves and know what's danger and could could possibly be harm to them, cause right now, if you, if you haven't been paying attention to the news lately, uh, we we've been really getting attacked out here, from from the older senior citizens to the young and the weak, and uh, this is not like by accident. There's a is a war going on. So I say this to say just uh protect your kids, teach your kids, educate your kids. And uh, to those to those teenagers that um, to the, to those teenagers parents who out there assaulting young black kids, I need you as parents to do better. It's twenty twenty one. Do better. Little love, stick together. It's all dope.